For Wall Street Media, this is Nikki. I'm here with Doug, and we'll help you make money in the stock market with information you can't find anywhere else. Hey, what do you say there, Nikki? Oh, we're here. We're happy and we're healthy. Yeah. What else can we ask for? Yeah. Uh, we've got Jeffrey's Tech Conference, and you've got notes from this morning hot off the presses, huh? I do. They're still sizzling, aren't they? <laughs> They're sizzling. Ron Slaymaker, VP of Texas Instruments Incorporated, TXN, spoke about an emphasis on analog products and embedded processing products to drive growth. Yeah, it's amazing. You know, everybody wants to move to digital so quickly, right, in yeah. chips. And these guys are just doing really, really well still with analog chips in a lot of different areas. It's the thing. Patrick Harshman, president and CEO of Harmonic HLIT, discussed the importance of HDTV solutions to enable next-gen services, continuing the diversification of the customer base and selective acquisitions to the company. James Pe Peterson, president and CEO of Micro Semi Corporation, MSCC, spoke about products in implantable medical technology, defense applications, commercial air and satellite technology. Brian Bronson, CFO of Radisys Corporation, RSYS, discussed lowering operating expenses, strong design, wind traction with new customers and applications, strategic plans to reach financial go goals in the future. Harry Bosco, President and CEO of Opnext, OPXT, spoke about expansion in 10G, 40G, and 100G products with the growing demand for IP bandwidth, discussed the July acquisition of Stratolite with Stratolite's expertise in 40G and 100G products in development. Jerry Mike, we need some of those. <laughs> Sign us up for those. Brad Smith, CEO of Intuit, INTU, discussed the future growth of the company, the market opportunities in three growth engines, and plans to increase customer satisfaction. Carl Chase, President and CEO of ARC International, said that the company seeks to counter challenging market trends by seeking additional cost-effective ways to realize acquisition synergies. Henry Powell, President and CEO of Supertex, SUPX, spoke about semiconductor technology in medical applications, improvements in LCD and DLP televisions, and the adoption of optical MEMS switching technology in the telecom power management market. Andy Rhineland, SVP and CFO of F5 Networks, FFIV, spoke about the new Vipron technology, the product refresh plan, and the announced date of new add-ons for the Vipron. John Bergen, president, president and CEO of MIPS Technologies, MIPS, estimated 26% growth from 2007. Restructuring will result in a worldwide reduction of 15%, including some closings. Hey, nice one, Nikki. Hot off the presses, guys. Hot off the um, presses. Tough right now in tech, right? All the tech stocks are getting hammered. And this is, again, like the emperor's robe. There's no good reason for it. Um, and it's the same stuff and the same kind of nonsensical market conditions that you've been seeing for a year. A year ago, all the experts and pundits, you know, the, the ones who know nothing, um, we're talking about online retailing was going to do horribly and they cut the knees out of all the online retailers and then it came through and it had grown 78 percent year over year okay the next thing were the chips right and that was in December January and the chips were going nowhere right and th they were never going to come back and this time was different it's not that it's been a cyclical market since Gordon Moore uh, in 1962 which it has listen to your Uncle Doug um, and they were all wrong on that and everybody who jumped in on those made piles of money. Now, you want to be selective, right? The market's a mess right now. But you want to listen to these presentations and get a feel for them and see which ones might be hidden gems for you. Just listen to us. Thanks, Nikki. We're here every day at Wall Street Media. You can find us directly at WSMCO.com. Thanks.